and zeros on his way. I don't see this one pop up that often. I bet you can tell which one is fake. We have our itty bitty duchess pin. As you can't have Timon without Pumbaa. <gasps> Yes, I extra love them. That is a movie that I really loved as a kid. Set completer, this is Dinah, 101 Dalmatians pin. And we all know that I really like the pastel color palette and florals. Oh, I love the set. Welcome back to The Bee's Business, or welcome if you are new around here. It's a pin mail kind of day. We have three pin mail packages today. We're going to dive into this little pink one first. Love the stickers. There's so many creative ones out there. This is from a whatnot seller. This is completing a set. I am excited to see that one home. This is from the whatnot seller Peachy Pins and Pops. I have purchased from her multiple times. Oh my gosh, look at that little poo eating honey. That's a cute sticker. I have purchased from Peachy multiple times and have really enjoyed all of my purchases so I would definitely recommend her on the whatnot app if you are on the app or if you are interested in checking it out she's a good reputable seller oh I forgot about this little itty bitty Marie that we have this is part of a very tiny little set of pins as you can tell she's not much bigger than my fingertip all right let's get into these cuties here oh I am excited we're gonna start with the Simba cupcake or Dole Whip because I am quite excited to have this one home as I mentioned it is completing a set for me I thought I had purchased this one and it turned out that I had a fake. Ooh, it was on her $13 board. I don't know what I paid for it, but it was not $13. Well, wait, I can tell you what I paid for it. I paid $10 for this pen. The little itty bitty Marie was $5. And then each of these were nine. So I paid 10, it was worth it. I don't see this one pop up that often. Before I put it on the board, I'm gonna show you this one compared to the fake version that I have because it is one of the worst fakes I've ever seen. But here's the real one and it is beautiful. Next up, we have a couple of NBC pins from this set. I already have Sally home and zeros on his way, but here's Oogie. I love the little gems that are on the sides of these pins. The lounge fly pins have a clear kind of coating over them. It's pretty thick and I enjoy that because when it goes over gemstones like this, it makes them feel really secure. Like there's no possible way for them even to get caught on something and be kind of popped off because that clear coating completely surrounds them and actually gives them a relatively smooth feel. They definitely bump up and off the pin, but you can kind of tell there that there aren't any edges that you could really get caught on anything. So they're nice and secure. All of that to say that they're nice and secure. So here is Oogie. He's got his dice in his hands there. And then we also have Jack from that same set. Jack is looking very handsome. He's got a big old smile on his face. I like the circular shape of these pins. Oh, we can see, I think some bones there on the side. Did Oogie have the same Oogie Oogie? Oogie, I guess. Yes, he did have the same kind of pattern and their gemstones are relatively the same, but you can tell that they're opposites here and not perfectly spaced the same. So there's a little bit of uniqueness, but the pattern on the top, the bottom, and along the sides in between the gems is the same. And they have a kind of stained glass look behind them. You can see more of it behind Jack just because he is a slimmer character, but really enjoy these pins. So working on this set, I have two left to get in the set. I need the mayor and then the three kids. I think that's what people usually call them together, lock, shock, and barrel. And lastly, from Peachy, for this purchase, we have our itty bitty Duchess pin. Oh my goodness, she is just so teensy and cute. She's got her little cubic zirconium there on the back. I now have four 
She's my fourth pin from this little set and I am slowly working on them whenever I see some of these pins available, I grab them up. So when I found Duchess, I decided she needed to come home, but there she is being so teensy tiny and cute. Oh, and this sticker fell out of the package before I saw it, but that's a really fun one too. Oh, I like the Lion King a lot, so I appreciate the sticker. All right, here we have our two Simba Dole Whips, and I bet you can tell which one is fake. This is the fake one. You can just see so many differences already. The glitter is not the same, this one is very white, whereas this is more of like a creamy yellow. The edges are so different. This one has much nicer edges, thicker edges, and wait until I show you the back side. These edges are rough on the fake one. Look at how bumpy and rough that is. And then on the back, it's not even the Loungefly logo. It's just Disney pin trading. So that was very clearly a fake when I opened it out of the package that I received in it. I've had this fake one for months now and then I was obviously in pursuit of the real one and it has taken some time to find it. Also the little prongs here, super small, super rounded. Those are big signs of a fake pin, whereas these are longer and nice and pointy on the ends. So between the rough edges, the back that is clearly not correct, the little tiny prongs, and then just the front of the pin, it's very clear that this one is super fake. And in real life, as I am holding them, this one is a lighter weight than is this one. So that's another telltale sign. The real one is, as I mentioned before, thicker and just has much cleaner edges. So there's an example of a real versus a fake pin. Loungefly pins have yet to be faked, so this, I guess, is an attempt at faking a Loungefly pin, but it didn't even have the Loungefly background, so it was very obvious that it is not accurate or real. Next up, we are going to open this package, Handle with Care, Do Not Bend, Thank You. Another nice little note. Oh, we have some fun ones in here. These are from another Whatnot seller, but I don't have the packing slip, and so I can't remember which whatnot seller right now that they are from. This is a fun set that I am just beginning, the little teapot and teacup set. Some people are breaking these up and selling them separately. I don't particularly love that, so I had kind of resisted purchasing these pins for a little while, but as of late I have found sellers that are keeping them together, and when you purchase, you get the full set, the cup that matches the teapot and I appreciate that a whole lot more. So here we have a teapot that is resembling Pinocchio with a little Figaro teacup and oh my goodness that is just quite cute to me. These are lounge fly pins. It's just a really fun and cute little set. I have Marie on her way to me and I'm quite excited about that one because she is one of my favorite characters. But here, as I mentioned, is Pinocchio and Figaro. And you can't have Timon without Pumbaa. So here we have the Timon and Pumbaa set. Oh my goodness. Again, quite cute. I just love that their sizes are comparable where you could actually mimic if you wanted to pin them into your book like this as though the teapot was pouring into the teacup. You could do that and the sizes are relative to one another, which does make sense since they come as a set, but sometimes things in life don't make sense. So I'm glad that this is a situation where they do make sense at least from my perspective. So here we have Timon and Pumbaa. And of course I had to set them up as though they are actually pouring into the cups. Onto the next little cluster of pins from this same Whatnot seller. Oh my. They're taped well. Not a bad thing. Oh, yes. 
Oh, this is quite exciting for quite a few reasons. With these pins, we are completing a couple of sets here. We are completing this 2024 set. Simba was the last one I needed. Kind of the theme right now because the Simba cupcake was the last one I needed in that set. So this is a set completer. This is just because I love Dalmatians and this is a newer Dalmatian pin. This is a set completer. She is the last one that I needed in this newer Cats and Dogs collar set and this is just because I like him. And then this is also, I guess, technically a set completer, though it's only a two pin set. It is Chip and then Dale. So you can see Chip here, he's got the top portion of an acorn and then Dale has the bottom portion. And when you put them next to each other, they make a completed little acorn. And as luck would have it, I have Dale nice and handy. So here he is. Look at how cute they are completing that little acorn together. Oh my gosh. There is not much cuter than that. I really love these pins. I could tell that I loved them when I was finding them in people's sales, but now that I have them both here in person and we can complete the acorn, I extra love them. As luck would have it, I found Dale first and he was at a pretty good price probably because he was coming without Chip and I kind of thought, when am I going to find Chip? It's probably going to take forever. I probably shouldn't have bought Dale by himself. I have seen them together being sold, but they were rather pricey and so I just thought, I don't need them. I want them. I don't need them. That kind of internal debate. So when I found Dale at a lesser price, again, probably because he was missing Chip, I grabbed him and then I was very fortunate that not long after in another show, I was able to find a Chip without Dale and he was at a good price, probably because he was without his other half. And now here they are reunited being simply adorable together. The way they're looking at each other, oh my gosh. I am so in love with these. I'm more in love with these than I anticipated. I would be. They're gonna go right in the middle of this board. You tell me it gets cuter. I'll wait. On to other pins in this same purchase. So here we have Bernard. Bernard is from The Rescuers and that is a movie that I really loved as a kid. There's a small chance that I already have Bernard now that I have him home. I'm thinking I might already have him. We'll have to see once I get into my pin books if I already have Bernard, but if I do, then he can go on my trader board, and if not, then I will add him to my collection. And our set completer, this is Dinah. She's looking very cute with this little flower crown on her head. I really like the yellow and the pink color. This pink collar is matching the pink bow that she has on and the pink on the inside of her ears. She has very bright green eyes. And she's a newer pin, a newer set with the little cubic zirconium here. I'm quite excited to have this set complete. Next up, we'll take a look at Simba. 20, oh my, really should have my pin plucker from Vader Pin Trader. That was not so nice on the fingernails. No damage to the pin, thankfully, but I shouldn't be so stubborn and I should just walk right over there and get it. But here is Simba from the 2024 set. This is just a really cute set to me. I like how the blue kind of is in a gradient pattern going from lighter to darker. I like the little stars in the 2024 and I like that they have a Disney character popping up out of the zero. And this version of Simba is quite cute. He's looking pretty classic. That is my favorite way to see my Disney characters in classic fashion. Again, a newer pin set. We've got our cubic zirconium back here and I'm very excited to have this set complete. Lastly from this whatnot seller we have this new 101 Dalmatians pin. We can see Perdita here with her puppies, just a very happy looking mom and then again with her pups as they are getting a little bit older. And down at the bottom it says best mom and these look like little pictures with the corner pieces even, kind of like an old fashioned photo book. Cubic zirconium there because again, a newer pin. 
and I love 101 Dalmatians, so this pin was a must. I am also a mom myself, so very meaningful pin to me for a couple of reasons. On to our final package. This is a very fun one. I think I've gotten a mailer like this before. This is also from a Whatnot seller. This is from Double JJ on Whatnot. I love the way she packages her items. Double JJ31 is her Whatnot name. She does such a nice job packaging her pins. Each one is wrapped so nicely in tissue paper, and then she puts them in these very cute little bags in addition to the bubble mailers to keep them safe. So always appreciate that. I end up keeping these little packages because I just think it would be fun to reuse them when I'm selling various items, pass on the cuteness to others. So I just really appreciate her packaging. Always love popping into her shows. Wow, this was fast shipping. Just three days. The show where I got these pins was just three days ago. So we paid $5 for four of these pins. Three of them were six, one, eight, one, ten, one, seven. So not too bad on the prices. Things seem to be a little bit pricier as of late. Around the holidays, there were a lot of great deals going on, and now I think that, oh, we have, we have a good amount of pins in here. We'll just take a few out to start. Uh, I think that sellers were getting good deals around the holidays and were very kindly passing that on to their buyers, and that's not really happening quite so much anymore with the holidays being behind us. Ooh, what kind of fun do we have? And so things are a little pricier. Can I remember? Yes. <gasps> yes. These are some Mickey Mouse pins, Mickey and Friends, I think they were called. These are very cute pins. You can't tell from the back. I am going to flip them around, but they have some florals on them and they're kind of like pastel-y in color palette. And we all know that I really like pastel color palette and florals. Oh my gosh. And the butterflies. I forgot about the butterflies and how perfect that I opened Minnie and Mickey together. Minnie has a little butterfly here next to her bow and she's just looking so cute. And we have Mickey here. He's got a little butterfly on the brim of his hat and the flowers around them and the pastel colors. The fact that Minnie and Mickey are matching with her pink dress and his pinkish looking shorts. Oh my gosh. And that bow and the hat are the same color. These are just a really cute set of lounge fly pins. These are lounge fly, but as I've mentioned in previous videos, lounge fly, something about the copyright between Disney and lounge fly. Lounge fly does not put their traditional logo on the back of any pins that are Minnie or Mickey. In the others in this set, you will see the traditional lounge fly logo and I'll show that when I open the others, but not on these ones. Look at those florals. Just precious. This was a set that I really have been wanting and when I popped into Double JJ show, she had almost all of them and so I grabbed up what I could and actually these are some of the ones that I got for $5. Here are some of our others in this same set. We have Goofy and Donald. This set also has Daisy and Pluto. Those are the two that I was not able to get, though she did say she was pretty confident she had Daisy and she said if she found Daisy, she was just gonna toss her into my package for me. So we'll cross our fingers that Daisy is in this package, but here is Donald, here is Goofy. Donald has a little butterfly on his finger. Where's Goofy's butterfly? Oh, there it is on the brim of his hat. Phew, I was worried that he didn't have a butterfly like the others and that was gonna be sad, so I'm glad he has a butterfly. They have some very beautiful florals and as I said, these guys do have the traditional lounge fly logo on them. Just cute. So we were able to start and close to complete this set. I guess we're two thirds of the way done. 
but if Daisy ends up in the package, then we're going to be five sixths of the way done. I'm throwing out a whole bunch of fractions at you. I'm currently teaching fractions in fourth grade. That's the unit that we are working on at the moment. So they are extra fresh in the brain. Oh, here's the Marie teapot. How perfect. I was just mentioning this to you and here it is from Double JJ. I didn't remember that I had got it, gotten this one from her. And so this is a fun surprise. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. So cute. Look at Marie's little face. So the teapot itself is Duchess and then our little teacup is Marie. How precious. These are again lounge fly pins. I really love the lounge fly pins. Some people don't enjoy them. Something about in the past the quality wasn't always that great. I have come to understand but in my experience I have always really enjoyed lounge fly and found them to be great quality. Moving on to our next couple of pins. Oh, look at that. We have double JJ and ooh, 25% off code. Maybe I should hide that. Probably by the time that this video goes up, I'll have already redeemed my code, but thank you for supporting our small business. And here are some different places where you can find double JJ. They have a website, Instagram, Facebook, and whatnot. And as I mentioned, I've purchased from double JJ many times now and really do enjoy her as a seller. So I would recommend her if you are looking for any Disney pins. Oh, these are some of the butterflies from the new butterfly set. Oh my goodness. This set is so beautiful. I really love butterflies and this set feels quite nicely done. And it is of course butterflies that are representing Disney princesses. So it just doesn't seem like it can get much better than that for me. Here we have the Snow White butterfly. I love the pleating look. I love the different colors and that I just love, as I've said before in my pin mail videos, I love that it's so easy to tell who the character is that the pin represents. It should be, but sometimes that's the goal and the delivery is just not quite there. But with these pins, it is. And for that, I am thankful. Here is the Mulan pin. I will say this is maybe my least favorite in the series. However, I do still really love the pin. Just of the others that are in the series, this one is not my favorite with the color palette. Here are the lounge fly logos on the backs. Oh, I love the set. Oh my, how perfect. I was just mentioning Zero to you as well. And now here he is, home to go along with that set. He's got that stained glass look behind him. He's got his little itty bitty pumpkin nose. Oh my gosh, can you see that? A little face on it and everything. He's got the same pattern that Jack and Oogie had. And his little rhinestones are a yellowish color to match his background. Zero is one of my favorite characters from NBC, as I think he is for a lot of people, but he's just so darn cute. Getting down to our last couple bundles from Double JJ. Say goodbye to the cute little winking pig. Oh, I almost tossed the cup. I forgot that I had gotten the Dalmatian teacup from Double JJ. So we really have made some nice progress with the teapot and teacup set and look at how cute this Dalmatian one is. My goodness gracious. A very nice little set. Again, of course, lounge fly, just like all the others. I love all the spots on the teapot itself, the ears on the side. I love the little face of the puppy on the teacup. Oh my goodness. This is looking like Pongo's collar. And then of course, one of the pups, maybe Rolly. And our last little cluster of pins here. <gasps> I remember this one as well. Looks like Daisy didn't make it to us, but that's okay. I appreciate that she was going to try and add that one in and 
I will just keep looking for her and that'll be just fine. But I was able to grab, wow, these are bigger than I was expecting. One of the newer book and bookmark sets. Double JJ is another seller that kept these kind of pins that go together, together. Some people sell these separately. They'll charge a price for just the book and just the bookmark. And some people then end up with just a whole pile of the bookmarks missing the books. And I just, I don't know. I, I get it, but I don't love it. But Double JJ kept the book and the bookmarks together as well as the teapots with the teacups. So I appreciate that. And anyway, here is the Jasmine book or the Disney Aladdin book. And we have Abu on the bookmark. These are a very beautiful set. She did have others. They've got the cubic zirconium there because as I said, they are a newer set. She, I think maybe had the entire book and bookmark set that night, but they were a hot commodity. I think this was a duplicate and that's how I got lucky to grab this one when I popped into her show a little bit later than its original start time. But when the other books went up, they were gone pretty quickly and they were definitely, as I mentioned, a hot commodity. So I only grabbed Jasmine. She is the first book and bookmark pair that I have from this set of pins and I'm very thankful to have them. But now, of course, I have another set that I am working on completing. But that's the Disney pin world. Just as you complete one set, you are starting another. And we are doing exactly that with today's pins. As I mentioned, a couple of these are completing sets. And here we are starting a set as well. So beautiful. I love the detail here, how you really feel like you're looking at a book with pages. This little indent here on the side, giving it a really authentic book-like feel even though it is a pin that is nice and thick but not any thicker than your traditional Disney pin. And then a very detailed little bookmark here. Abu is looking quite cute. I like how this really feels like a bookmark. You can see this area that looks like it's a hole with a little ribbon through it perhaps. Just very nicely done and cute set. There you have today's pin mail haul. I was spacing things out a little more when I first started. I think I was under the impression that this was going to be a smaller pin mail haul than it turned out to be, even though we only had three packages today. They were full packages. So we did end up with a nice full board and I'm just loving that luck was on our side today and that our teapots and our NBC pins were able to come home all in the same day, even though they were from different sellers. So some very cute teapots. I love this set. We are two thirds of the way complete with that set, missing two pins out of six. These butterflies are so beautiful. We completed this set, this set, and this set today. Oh my goodness, and if I had to pick a favorite, could I? This is always my dilemma. What is my favorite pin? Can I pick a favorite pin? Hmm. I'm really in love with Chip and Dale here and how they are forming a complete acorn when they're together. So for today, I think I would say these are my favorite pins. However, these are a close second. This set is just adorable and the butterflies as well. That is a set that is so special to me. So truly lots of favorites again. And of course that does make sense since I am the one who intentionally purchased these pins. It must have been because I enjoy them and I do enjoy every single one of them. If you had to narrow it down and try to pick a favorite or a few favorites, could you? And if so, what are they? Thank you so much for joining me today for this Disney Pin Mail unboxing. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.